Our next award is going to be the Paul Kelly Players Player Award, a peer-voted award in which each member of the senior team awards votes, similar to the Brownlow style, three to one basis following each home and away match to the players who they think had the best on-ground performances. Dane Rampey won this award in 2019. And now, can you please welcome to the stage Executive General Manager Football, Charlie Garner, to announce the 2020 winner. Charlie. Thank you, Adam, and good evening, everyone. Um, gives me great pleasure to award the um, 2020 Paul Kelly Players Player Award. Um, this year, um, the award goes to a player who had, a, had an outstanding year. Um, he, he led from the front and um, really enhanced his reputation as one of the elite midfielders in the competition. Um, he performed at a consistently high level, um, was in the top 20 uh, in the competition for key, key statistics in terms of uh, disposals and clearances. Um, he played very few bad games and you know when he does play a bad game, the next one's going to be pretty damn good. Um, he played his 200th game. He led from the front. He's a ruthless um, competitor. Um, ladies and gentlemen, the 2020 Paul Kelly's Player Player Award goes to Luke Parker. Well, congratulations, Luke. Week in, week out, when your mates plugged in their votes, you came out on top at the end of the season. You must be thrilled to win the Paul Kelly Award. Yeah, it's always... Um, I'm, I'm really proud to win this award. I think that's the, the reason you play footy, is to um, enjoy the time with your mates and, and have the respect and, and be someone that um, they want to run out, of, out alongside um, and, and look up to. And um, I hope I did that this year. Um, I, I'm so excited for this group that we've got coming through. Um, and, and they just make my, my job easier. Um, I have so much enjoyment coming into this club um, and, and it's an incredible place to lead. You were part of a three-man co-captaincy team, but of course two of those co-captains were injured at various stages during the year, some of that overlapping. Did you feel, you, I, I felt, and I think a lot of people felt they saw you grow as a leader this season. Did you, did you feel you took a couple of steps on that journey yourself? Oh, I think I, in, the, in the last couple of years I've, I've tried to continue to grow in that area. I think... Working alongside Ramps and Joey has been incredible for my development. Um, obviously, we can feed off each other and um, really help each other out in the, in the leading sense. And obviously, they went down, which was uh, important for, I guess, myself to try to stand up and carry that load. But then to see that next group of leaders, Lloydie, Harry Cunningham, um, Reedy, blokes like that, just really take another step in their leadership and um, wanting to really take control of, of their line or, or area on the field really made my job a lot easier. You, of course, in your own career, came on from introduction to the club to playing really good football very quickly and maintained that level. You played in the 2012 Grand Final, of course. What's your advice to some of the young players eyeing off their first season break before coming back for their second pre-season, etc., to hit those levels as soon as they can? Yeah, I think I was always one to continue to work through the break um, and, and show up day one ready to go. But just to make sure that I was continually... Um, reflecting on what I love about the game and enjoy about the game and um, I hope I still I feel that I still come into the, the club um, with a smile on my face and ready to attack the session whether it's my first season whether it's my 10th um, going into my 11th next year so uh, for me it was it was continually to reflect on the love of the game and what, what keeps you motivated well we can't wait to see you out there attacking the footy for an 11th season please give Luke Parker a big round of applause the Thanks, Paul Vince. Kelly Players Player winner for 2020